The concept of breaking down the development of a large application into smaller chunks of work really began in the 1990s. And over the years, the ideas evolved with different approaches beginning to gain traction. And with the release of the Agile Manifesto in 2001, those methodologies that really upheld the four core values and 12 Agile principles were grouped under the Agile umbrella. And they included approaches like XP or Extreme Programming, Kanban, Feature Driven Development, and Scrum. So how are these methodologies different? Well, for one thing, if you were to place them on a scale from more prescriptive to more adaptive, you would get something like RUP or Rational Unified Process uh, on the more prescriptive end of the spectrum uh, because it has 120 rules to follow. Uh, and then you would get XP with 13 rules and Scrum with nine and then Kanban with three. And then on the other end of the spectrum, you would have the do whatever methodology, which of course is not a real methodology, but really a misconception among many people who, when they hear the word agile, believe that it's just an excuse to do whatever and not be held accountable, which is not true. And of all these methodologies, Scrum is by far the most widely used, followed by Kanban. So we'll focus, of course, on Scrum. So what is Scrum? Well, essentially, it is about breaking down your product vision to create a product backlog of smaller items and then splitting your organization to create small cross-functional teams of between three to nine people and then breaking down your time to get the product to market into one week to four week development cycles to allow for smaller regular releases that build on each other until you have a product that is ready to take to market. So you split your product you split your team and then you split your time. Now, it's important to note that Scrum is not a methodology. It is more of a framework because it's not prescriptive in the sense that it doesn't provide a set of repeatable steps that can be simply followed to achieve success. So what is a framework then? Well, a framework is sort of like a foundation on which you can build. So the Scrum framework is built on agile values and principles. And on top of this, they have another foundational layer called Scrum Values. And as long as you build on top of this foundation, you have room to decide how you want to implement Scrum. So you can decide what your house will look like and you have various options to customize it. So what are the Scrum Values? Well, they are essentially courage, focus, commitment, respect, and openness. And they're fairly straightforward, so we won't really dig any deeper into those. And as I mentioned earlier, Scrum was developed by Ken Schwaber and Jeff Sutherland. And together they wrote the Scrum Guide, which can be downloaded for free from scrumguides.org. And the guide is available in 30 languages. So I do encourage you to download it and check it out. It's also especially important if you wish to get your Scrum certification through the scrum.org organization. Okay, that's enough theory for now and you are now ready for your first project assignment as Scrum Master. So in the next tutorial, we'll go over the brief for project number one, and then soon after, we'll begin work on our first practical exercise. I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.